okay? In just a few minutes, the ceremony will begin, and we ask that the audience remain seated during the processional. Following the ceremony for your convenience and a faster exit, you'll be able to leave through the doors behind the stage on the west side of the arena. Thank you.
Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Would the audience please stand as the UNC Police Department Honor Guard approaches the stage for the presentation of colors. And while Sarah Kochaber leads us in singing our national anthem. Thank you and please be seated. Welcome to the University of Northern Colorado's Fall Undergraduate Commencement Ceremony. My name is Dr. Vish Iyer and I'll be host for today's ceremony. Our student farewell address this morning will be given by Alisa DeFoss. Alisa will be receiving her bachelor's degree of arts in secondary teaching. about how I wanted to start this speech, I thought it would be fun to start with a graduation joke. You know, lighten the mood and get things loosened up. Unfortunately, I am not funny when I want to be, so naturally I googled it. Also unfortunately, I am very easy to amuse and I couldn't just pick one. So here are some of my favorites. Graduations are so immature, you can't get to the end without name calling. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I ordered a graduation cake for my graduation party. The baker asked me what I wanted it to say. Wow, talking cakes, who knew? <laughs> okay, I had to cut myself off there because I was having way too much fun reading jokes on the internet instead of preparing for finals, which is more self-control than I had most of college, as I'm sure most of you can relate to. On another note, I think it's important to stop for a minute to acknowledge how nice it is to have an indoor ceremony for our fabulous winter graduation where I'm only sweating profusely because I'm talking to you all and not because I'm baking like a stuffed potato in the hot summer sun. Which is reason enough for another joke, I think. My college graduation was held inside and man, it was hot. There must have been like a thousand degrees in there. <laughs> Thank you. On my first day of class at UNC, I was somehow even more sweaty than I am right now. And I know most of you relate to me there. 
I decided to transfer for the spring semester and also decided not to familiarize myself with campus even a tiny bit before embarking on my journey. So picture this, me wandering around campus, not a single clue as to where I was and not a sign to point me in the right direction, just walking fast so that no one would ask me if I was lost. I didn't eat anything but bread from the place that I worked for the first whole week because I was too afraid to ask anyone where the dining hall was. Turns out it was not even a minute walk from my dorm. <laughs> Make some noise if you've ever felt lost in college. Thank you, that makes me feel better. As miserable as I was, I now look back quite fondly upon those first few weeks and I most certainly laugh at how afraid I was then. I wish I had known then what I know now, mainly where the dining halls are, but also that I had nothing to be afraid of because the next four and a half years were going to be the best years of my life and that I would encounter so much and learn so much. We all have those moments where we are completely and utterly lost and I am forever grateful that I chose to attend UNC because it gave me a place to call home and gave me a compass when I felt utterly lost. And I know you all feel as lucky as I do to have made that decision. Choosing a college can be a crazy hard choice, but we all chose here and here chose us as much as a place can. And here we all belong. Here we met challenge and we met diversity. We met opposition and we met incredible beauty. And maybe most importantly, we met ourselves because this wasn't just a degree for us. It was a journey of self and world discovery and an amazing one at that. Which brings us to this, to now, our actual college undergraduate graduation. Who's excited? Yeah, heck yeah. <laughs> the road that guided us here was often winding and rocky, yet it was all the while bathed in sunshine and surrounded by green grass. The experiences and the knowledge we have gained over these past years are worth every late night cry, I mean study session, and I am proud to surround myself today with the graduating class of 2019. Some of you that graduate with me today are mothers, fathers, first generation students, full time workers on top of your classes, athletes and many other walks of life. We stand together in triumph today. I should take a moment to acknowledge some of the people who res re were responsible for allowing and even encouraging us to pursue our success. As crazy as all of our professors are for unleashing us upon the world, I am unspeakably grateful that they dedicated their lives to changing ours. Dealing with us was brave, and each one of them deserves a lifetime of vacation for every time one of us walked in late with Starbucks. At UNC, they saw us as individuals, not as a massive wave of students walking through their door every day. We have made some of the most meaningful connections of our lives with the professors here, whether it be crying with chocolate in one office and definitely not the other, or receiving the gift of their time for extra mentoring and direction. One thing is for sure, they are all guiding lights that led us here today. And speaking of beacons to lean on, I would like to offer my deepest gratitude to the people who always lifted us up, our families and support systems. There are a few things more frustrating and annoying than a broke, tired college student, and you all handled us like champs. From our meek beginnings of trying to manage late night study sessions and 8 a.m. classes, to soothing us through a bad grade, to helping us discover our identities and our voices, our passions and our path, we couldn't have done it without you. Thank you all for being there for us and never letting us give up on ourselves. And I want to thank each one of you, my close friends and my complete strangers, for joining me on this absolutely bonkers ride that was our undergraduate degree. We taught each other kindness and perseverance and helped shape one another into the people we are. It was a pleasure to exist near all of you and I feel a strange melancholy feeling at the idea of following our separate paths. But as bittersweet as our parting is, I am confident in the fact that a wave of the most incredible, smart, and kind people in the entire universe is about to take the world totally unaware in a good way. Commencement means beginning, and although today marks the end of some things, some very stressful things, it primarily marks the beginning of something. UNC left us with both a strong aversion to homework and an incredible legacy to carry on as we catapult into the world as teachers, future medical and law students, executives, entrepreneurs, actors, musicians, athletes, and so much more. Which I think is a fantastic reason for make, me to make you all cringe with one last joke. Educated people are hot because they have more degrees. <laughs> so class of 2019, I will leave you all with something Maya Angelou told Oprah while teaching her to make biscuits. Baby, you have no idea what your legacy will be because your legacy is every life that you touch. Thank you and congratulations.
It is now my privilege and pleasure to introduce to you the president of the University of Northern Colorado, Dr. Andy Feinstein. Well, thank you, Dr. Iyer, and good morning, graduates and guests. Buenos dias y bienvenidos. I am honored to join you and share in this momentous occasion. As we begin, we acknowledge that the grounds upon which our university stands are inextricably tied to the history and culture of indigenous peoples. We pay our respect to elders past, present, and future and to those who have stewarded this land throughout the generations. The University of Northern Colorado occupies the lands and the territories of the Ute, Cheyenne, and Arapaho peoples. Further, we acknowledge the 48 tribes that are historically tied to the state of Colorado. I challenge us to be better stewards of the land we inhabit, as well as learn the stories and practices of indigenous peoples' history and culture. Graduates, today marks a significant milestone on your journey as a lifelong learner. As president, I am honored to be among the first to share my congratulations, to recognize you, and to celebrate your success. Commencement is one of my favorite university events. It is a time for celebration and a time to remember. It is a day to, and I cannot stress this enough, take lots of photos and videos. So graduates, I know this contradicts what you've heard in class, but do not be shy about using your phone today. Take selfies throughout the ceremony Use and post to social media with hashtag UNCBearGrad. In fact, I'm gonna take a selfie right now. Will all of the graduates please stand? So, I need you to get a little closer together in the middle, though, if you can help me out. Thank you. Please be seated. Well, thank you. And in all seriousness, please capture and share your favorite moments from today's celebration. I want you to leave here able to remember the deep sense of accomplishment that only comes when we achieve a monumental goal. And a goal takes a big team. Will our parents, family members, and supporters in attendance please rise or raise their hand and be recognized? Thank you for sharing in UNC's commitment to student success. This is a team effort, and we appreciate your contributions. Graduates, you have heard me speak often about our commitment to student success, and that commitment begins with our trustees, who place your educational attainment at the center of all that we do. Will the trustees with us this morning please stand to be recognized, including trustees Chairman Dick Monford, Janice Sinden, Dr. Steve Jordan, faculty trustee Dr. Fritz Fisher, and tr student trustee Malika Michelle Fuller. Thank you for joining in today's celebration. Thank you also to the dedicated staff, faculty, and university leaders who make transformative education possible at UNC. Will our university staff, faculty, and leaders please stand and be recognized?
Thank you. In our attendance today is graduating Air Force ROTC Cadet Brian Zier and Colonel Timothy Childress, Commander of the Air Force Reserve Officers Training Corps, Detachment 90. Will Brian and Colonel Childress please stand and be recognized. Thank you. We have many veterans, active duty military personnel, and military family members with us today. Please stand if you are on active duty or are a veteran. <laughs> on behalf of UNC, Thank you for your service to our country. Graduates, you are part of a noble tradition that dates back to 1891, when our institution celebrated commencement for the first 12 graduates. Since then, more than 154,000 individuals have graduated from our university. We are honored to have you be counted among this esteemed group and excited to celebrate your success. Among you today are 602 graduates. You range in age from 19 to 57, year old, 57 years old. Our fall graduating class represents 45 Colorado counties, 42 states, and 10 countries in addition to the United States. You reflect the rich diversity that makes our nation and university strong. And today is about celebrating what makes you individually and collectively an impressive group of graduates. With many of our students being the first in their family to attend college, today is about celebrating the individuals who will soon become the first in their families to cross a college commencement stage. As a Carnegie classified engaged campus, today is a celebration for the students whose commitment to education is matched by their commitment to community. As a university where nearly a quarter of our undergraduate students identify as Latinx, today is about celebrating all that say, si sí, se puede, yes we can, because you can and you did. Today is about celebrating the future educators, artists, scientists, business leaders, healthcare professionals, and others who graduate from our nationally recognized programs to enter careers as leaders and innovators. As you enjoy today's ceremony and the celebrations that will surely follow, I want you to remember the sense of accomplishment and excitement that you feel right now. It may be mixed with nervousness and anticipation, and that's okay. What is important is that you remember what it feels like to succeed in what you set out to achieve. You will personally, certainly face challenges and bumps along your path in life, but I know that when you set out to achieve a goal, whether it is attaining a UNC degree, advancing in your career, or advocating for change in your community, you will succeed. The path to success may not always be clear, so remember why you started and remember what it feels like to succeed, what it feels like today in this moment. Use today's feeling of accomplishment to fuel your drive toward your next goal in life. And if the feeling starts to fade, I want you to look back on your graduation group selfie, and I know that you will always be here to help and celebrate your success. After all, once a bear, always a bear. Congratulations, UNC graduates. Well, good morning. My name is Mark Anderson, and I am Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs and Provost for the University of Northern Colorado. I'd like to first welcome all our families, friends, and guests of our graduates, and thank you for coming. I'd also like to thank Alyssa for her very nice words. Everybody who knows me knows I like a good joke, and I've got three more that I can use as well. So thank you for that. And most importantly, I'd like to congratulate our graduates. Today is a day of celebration, a day of recognition of all that you've achieved, and you should be proud of yourself as much as we are 
proud of you. Among the many traditions associated with commencement is the presentation of the mace and the college banners during the processional. These items symbolize the graduate's accomplishments and the university's commitment to student success. The selection of the banner bearer is considered to be a special honor. Those serving as banner bearers today have been recognized and selected by their colleges based upon their academic contributions. Would our mace and banner bearers please stand and be recognized. In addition, we acknowledge our commencement marshals, deputy marshals, and marshal captains who serve as leaders during these ceremonies. Would these faculty members please stand and be recognized? Thank you. Today I have the honor of recognizing some of our most distinguished student scholars. Will candidates for the Latin honors summa cum laude, magna cum laude, and cum laude, please stand. <laughs> to qualify for Latin honors, these students have successfully completed at least 56 credit hours at UNC and have achieved the necessary cumulative grade point averages throughout their academic careers. Students receiving summa cum laude recognition have maintained a 3.9 cumulative GPA or higher. Indeed. <laughs> Students who are receiving the magna cum laude recognition have maintained a cumulative GPA of 3.8 to 3.89. And cum laude recognition is for students who've maintained a cumulative GPA between 3.7 and 3.79. These students are identified by the blue and gold cords that they're wearing around their neck. Individual honors will be, re will be recognized as the students receive their diplomas. Please join me in congratulating students receiving Latin honors. Would students in the University Honors, Scholars and Leadership Program, as well as mortar board students, please stand. <laughs> These students can be identified by the gold stoles or silver and gold tassels, and we will recognize them for their uh, superior academic achievements in scholarship, leadership, and service. Please join me in congratulating our honor scholars and leadership program as well as mortar board students. <laughs> Will candidates who have been recommended for teacher licensure please stand. The University of Northern Colorado has a long history of, teach, of excellence in teacher education. The candidates who have been recommended for teacher licensure wear light blue tassels. These individuals be, will be educating the next generation of UNC Bears, and thank you for that. Please join me in recognizing the accomplishments of our teacher licensure candidates. The laws of the state of Colorado vest the authority for the University of Northern Colorado in its Board of Trustees. We are pleased to have Chairman Dick, Dick Monfort here to give the authorization for conferring of the degrees. Chairman Monfort. Thank you. My note says thank you, President Feinstein, but I guess you just want your name out there again, right? The Board of Trustees extends its congratulations to our UNC graduates and their families. We are proud of your accomplishments and this significant milestone in your lives. Great job, everybody. President Feinstein, by the virtue of the authority vested in the Board of Trustees for the University of Northern Colorado 
And as a member of that board, I hereby authorize you to confer on this term's graduates the appropriate degrees as recommended by the faculty of the university. Thank you, Chairman Monfort. We appreciate your tremendous service and support of your alma mater, and go Rockies. Will the candidates for bachelor's degrees please stand? By the virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees and upon the recommendation of the faculty, I confer upon each of you the appropriate Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Music, and Bachelor of Music Education degrees to which you are entitled to with all of the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining to these degrees. Thank you, and students, please be seated for a moment. The deans of the respective colleges will now present the graduates who have met the requirements for the degrees established and recommended by their college's faculty. Good morning. My name is Paul Bobrowski, Dean of the Montfort College of Business. Will the candidates receiving the Bachelor of Science degrees from the Montfort College of Business please come forward to receive your diplomas? Maria Derzinski. Jordan Prestwich. Alan Franco Cum Laude. Tessa Murray. Adam Schacht, Soma Cum Laude. Samantha Talbert. Kim McGuire, Soma Cum Laude. Demi Reichert. Susan Rodriguez. Kayla Ursich. Samuel Nelson. Rihanna Philpot. Eric Ruelcaba. Kylie Schumann. Kale Voigt. David Crespin. Paul Buckholz. Caleb Klein, magna, uh, magna cum laude. Bryson Kiefer. Stephen Bridget. Alana Lovato. Darren Yoshimura. Taylor Mariucci. Waramit Lowatamamat. Mackenzie Blitzstein. Melinda Ross. Brenda Alvarado Borrego. Caleb Leonard. Janet Cruz. Elba Ceja Trujillo. Jasmine Gutierrez. Adam Cole. Josiah Mpora Mpora. Eric Dovo. Amanda Bivens, summa cum laude. Kaylee Bunker. Gosha Kreuter. Allison Duran, summa cum laude. Nolan Lancre. 
Lauren Sims. Brian Lund. Giona Childress. Josh Heifetz. Jordan Roy. Jacob Bo Roth. Javier Arbina Ruiz. Jacob Paul Shapiro. Edward Eddie Gonzalez. Freddy Renteria Talvara. Christian Benavides. Zachary Bankson. Patrick Stevens. Haley Spore, summa cum laude. Cole Geddes. Alexander Carrillo. Kyle Wickstrom. Ian Jimbrowski, magna cum laude. Nick Baumgartner. Taz Al Shawabi. Good morning. My name is Burkhard Englert, Dean of the College of Natural and Health Sciences. Will the candidates receiving Bachelor of Science degrees from the College of Natural and Health Sciences please come forward to receive your diplomas? Naya Cook. Becky Prieto. Heather Gevin. Vanessa Farias. Tyranny Lindsley. Abby Carter. Caitlin Tweeton, summa cum laude. Amy Balchek. Emily Walker, summa cum laude. Katara Lemeyer Barola. Courtney Hicks. Patranit Bunyarit. Sierra Miller. Kirsty Martinson. Maya Alawalia. Maria Ivy. Kayla Samuelson, cum laude. Genevieve Garcia. Brandon Clark, summa cum laude. Clara Schusler. Melissa Simpson. Sarah Mercado. Andrea Reppi, cum laude. Sage Sherman. Maria Ramirez Hernandez. Ryan Thomas. Arisbe Soto Ramirez. Morgan Marsula. Sutini Sircao. Sabrina Sorto. Lacey Arts, summa cum laude. Douglas Dean. Lennox Afriyi. Trey Simmons. Jay Fry. Jacob Riley, cum laude. Luna Haynes. 
Justin Anderson. Bethlehem G. Michael. Carissa Maline. Amanda Holabar, summa cum laude. Viola Osorio. Marina Hanlon, summa cum laude. Vanessa Davis, magna cum laude. Kelsey Robinson. Kimberly Leon. Olivia Davis, summa cum laude. James Knock. Lee Davis, summa cum laude. Kaylin Nava, cum laude. Megan Osborne, summa cum laude. Yulisa Martinez. Aaron Eberhurt, summa cum laude. Danielle Higashi. Veronica Lovely, summa cum laude. Lee Aloha Amor. Hart Dittmer, summa cum laude. Frederick Jones, summa cum laude. Jonathan Hensel, summa cum laude. Scott Cheney. Catherine Riley. Analia Acuna, magna cum laude. Noelle Strait, summa cum laude. Blake Brazel. Charity Buckner, summa cum laude. Selena Valderas. Corey Romke. Ivy Castillo. Joshua Cornelius. Belmarie Ganger. Corina Johnson. Janae Gregg, cum laude. Kayla McCullough, magna cum laude, and DeSoto. Haley Ventimiglia. Morgan Som, cum laude. Madison Thornton. Jared Leonard. Amber Ingram. Quintavious Stiles. Christine Lieberman. Brian Zare. Tamerlin Wells. Tulane Sterkel. Annalise Gurkin. Cassandra Terry. Wilson Hattendorf. Samantha Garcia. Reese Roca. Margaret O'Connor. Kirsten Johnson. Jade Woodyard. Jordan McKendry. Becca Schumann. Dallas Sapla. Katie Kulik. Jacob Fry. Logan Strauss. Abby Wilson. Good morning, my name is Kiki Gilderhus. I'm Interim Dean of the College of Performing and Visual Arts. Go super artistic and funny bears, yes. Will the candidates receiving Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Music, or Bachelor of Music Education degrees from the College of Performing and Visual Arts please come forward to receive your diplomas?
Grace Hoig. Hannah Gustafson. Jennifer Hernandez. Adelia Names. Becky Zansen. Mariah Bighorn. Aliyah Campbell. Janine Betancourt. Sharon Seiler. Ian Heaster. Hallie Shield. Deanna Schwartz. Max Waters. Sydney Weiss. Stephen Bray. Sarah Kochevar. Haley Lynn Smith. Catherine Peoples. May City Kosia Watt. Kiara Sweeney. Cecilia Arbaca. Jim Eads. Thank you. The graduating class of 1910 left as a gift to the university an entry gate on 10th Avenue, which is inscribed with the motto, rowing, not drifting. This resonates with me as a powerful, relevant metaphor, a reminder to be purposeful. As you leave here today, I hope you will take time to reflect on the rowing you have done to earn your degree. And I encourage you to be fearless rowers in all of your pursuits, no matter the direction you take from here. I also encourage you to remain connected with your alma mater. UNC is stronger because of you and with you. As graduates, you join a network of more than 134,000 living alum alumni worldwide. Use your bare network and put it to work when you seek a career change, find a new place to call home, or look for ways to stay connected to UNC. Will everyone who was a UNC alum please stand? That includes you, graduates. Look around you, graduates. So look around you, graduates. These individuals are your bare network. This network is a tremendous resource that will always be there for you. Don't forget, once a bear, always a bear. Thank you. Please be seated. So graduates, let's look back at a few highlights from this past year.
This video serves as a small sample of what makes our campus so special. UNC is just the right size to foster meaningful relationships, forge with world-class opportunities that distinguish us from our peers. I am proud that we produce graduates who are a testament to what is possible with a UNC degree. In just a moment, the University Trombone Ensemble will perform the recessional. Will the audience, graduates, and faculty please remain seated until the stage party exits and you are dismissed by the commencement marshals. Once dismissed, I encourage our graduates and guests to remain and take photos to celebrate and remember today. And finally, graduates, as a symbol of your transition, from student to alumni, you may move your tassel to the left side of your mortarboard. Congratulations, graduates. I declare the fall 2019 undergraduate commencement at a close. Thank you.